Oh. oh yeah, Lisa Switch. No wine tonight. Uh oh, someone's gonna get crazy. This show is gonna go off the charts, right? Uh-huh. But I want to say, God TV, you guys, we're just we're just exploding. And all these all the, the people in the chat room, hello, welcome to our show. Don't forget to like this show, subscribe, That's okay. click that bell icon, Mickey. I got it. I got it. I got it. You guys, you guys will like really laugh at what it says on my bell. What does it say? It says, it says, uh, hold on. It says, it says, it says, look, ring, ring for sex. But it's at the hustler store. And I just, I was like, oh, a bell. I really didn't want it to say that. But I was so jealous of Mickey's little bell, you know? But don't forget to turn on the notification thing because you're not going to want to miss our show. It's getting bigger and better and better and bigger and bigger and bigger. The bigger, the better, the tighter, the sweater. We must increase our bust. (laughs) Oh, my God. Old school. Wow. Wow. You remember that? that? Like doing this, Mickey? Like, like, Val? No. no. They used to do this to teach you to, like, make your boobs bigger as a kid. And I was like, really, they used to call me um, two by four in high school because I was so flat chested. Oh my God, that's so mean. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, bullying was my upbringing, I guess. Wow. Did you kick yeah. them out? No, I, I was like, you know, non-confrontational, miss yeah. people pleaser, oh, you know. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I, just send me their addresses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got them. Show up on all their doorsteps. And remind them <laughs> who they're dealing with. <laughs> Well, exactly, I just want to give exactly. a huge shout out to our Patreon subscribers, to our Patreon after party goers, which we will be doing right after this episode, top of the hour, 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, and just say hello to everyone who comes and joins us here and who is subscribes to Patreon. We have so much amazing stuff. There's so many amazing tiers, but all of our tiers get obviously this full episode unedited right here. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, we whoa. Whoa, we were invited to <laughs> invited to the after party on Patreon, um, where we overview this entire episode. Yes. And just chit chat with you guys. You can ask questions. It's live, it's fun, yeah. it's foot loose and fancy free. You don't even have to wear shoes. You, yeah, you really don't. We don't yeah. judge. It is so much fun. And, you know, we always have everyone on camera for a final cheers at the end. It's so much fun. And uh, if, if you're watching for the first time, you might notice my Gaw TV pillow here. There's more merchandise where that came from in our team. Where'd you get it? Store. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? I'm so glad you asked, Lisa, because it's in our official Gaw TV merchandise store. The link is in the description right here on YouTube. Awesome stuff. Uh, face masks, fanny packs, all kinds of awesome uh, shirts. Uh, loungewear and of course this beautiful pillow some of which has been designed by uh, Ian and our friend Ella J who's fabulous uh, and we also want to say a big thank you to LegacySups.com our sponsor uh, and you can get 10% off when you use the code G-A-W GAW and uh, about the Legacy Sups too you guys hello where's where'd she go oh, Le- look. oh look at all that look at all sorry. those subs sorry <laughs> sorry look at all those stuff like, I, so I was like every time like david was at work he was like hey can you reach out to nick and mickey i haven't got my freaking fat burners yet and i'm like shipping it's covid oh yeah what's your favorite product mickey i don't know if we've we, uh-huh. you've explained some of your favorites but what's your like your go-to this is my favorite simma down now simma 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 down now <laughs> I need some. <laughs> that one is my favorite. Um, the Herminator, this amazing fat burner, ladies. Yes. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, this is the multivitamin, Femina. And I will say it has a little bit of niacin in it, Lisa. Oh, so you get the redness of your skin. Well, it's a, you'll feel it. And I was like, um, it, it's like, you know, I've had niacin before, you know, working out or before the stuff or it's in certain things but it's interesting because it's in the the multivitamin but it was such a small amount i was like oh, okay and then all of a sudden um because i just got these in uh i i was like oh what's going on here i was like oh shoot the niacin in it so yeah, yeah. it's interesting but i feel amazing like 
My energy's been up. I've, I've been taking them this week. I just got them in this week. The She Assist. Awesome. I like to that one. This but for the ladies. Yes. This is more for like hormone balancing and stuff like that. That's what I need because I'm going through premenopause, you guys. Yeah. Um, Candace Michelle, when I used to room with her, she gave me this. She goes, oh, we're going to go work out here. Take this. It's a good fat burner supplement. And she gave me pure, pure, pure niacin. And then I was like, I, I went to go lay down. I go, I feel weird. I feel weird. And she's like, <laughs> laughing at me. No. <laughs> That's like hot stuff, right? Like the wrestlers use hot stuff. Yeah. yeah. It, it, when they oh, were it's, just, it's itchy. I hate that feeling. It freaks me out. Oh, I was you know what? So there was some, um, I used to work in a tanning salon. There's some uh, lotions that have that as well, and they make you like tingle lotions and stuff. The tingle like, factor. Yes. With that. No, I don't like that. Not about I it. Like I like it. Say that too. I would always steer away from the tingle factor. I'm like, no, I don't want any of that tingle factor. I don't like it. I have sensitive skin anyway. I think so. It just, it just kind of. You don't burn. That's not. That's not. You, you know. Sometimes, sometimes you know, you like get, food. No, oh, like food stuff. Ew. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you guys like, give me the tingle factor. Yeah. And do. speaking of tingle factor, do you guys know we have a podcast which we call Godcast? Yes, we do. And you can listen to us while you're working out and um, doing the fat burners, uh, the 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 she assist. You can listen to us while you're just doing a little cardio, a little boom, 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 boom. Thank you, Ella J, for converting our show, and you get the entire show, unedited version. Yes. On Godcast. No filters, ladies and gentlemen. As Lisa said, you know, this is a great show. It's about a half hour we give you here on YouTube, but the full hour uh, is, um, it's pretty juicy. Let's put it that way. It is really, really unscripted, juicy content. And uh, yeah, safe for all ears that don't judge. (laughs) (laughs) Safe for all non-judgmental ears. No, that should be our, our, yeah, our hashtag or something. That's perfect. Yeah, I love Ella so much, and it's really cool that she can do that. I think she's having so much success with the wrestling gal and all the things that she's doing now. Um, But to be able to like deliver the podcast in in audio form only, but the full unedited version for our fans, I think it's really cool. And then for the full video version for our Patreon subscribers, a day early is also pretty cool. So you know, we're just trying to give back. We're you know, givers is all. Yeah, that's it. Just givers. Givers, no givers, givers, no takers. Yeah, no takers. We don't take over here. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, you guys, I'm so, so excited for our next guest, for our guest this week. I've been waiting and dying and dying to get these ladies on. And uh, we have been working so closely together. And I love them so much. They uh, are one of my nearest and dearest, newest best friends. I know we've talked about them. Obviously, you know, the Grown Ass Woman song came out last month at the end of May, actually. Um, and it's been doing amazing. It's obviously our opener song here. And I was like, we have to, because the remix with Zaheer comes out. It just came out this weekend. So I was like, we have to have these ladies on. Our okay. music video's coming out. They had me and you can have them, Jolene. They're CMT's next women of country. They're gonna blow it up. My friends, my girls, my gals. Chapel Heart. My God, these beauties. Hi, ladies. Hello, hello. Hello, How are you? So, so good. Oh, we're so excited to finally meet you. We heard so many great things about you, ladies. You're you're Mickey's new best friends. Yes. Yes. We've been trying to get on this show forever. We made it. I know. It looks like you guys are on the road, like literally on the road. What? Are you, where are you calling literally me? Are. <laughs> wow. We, we were like reading the thing and we were like, we would I, we would have loved to do a pajama. You know what I mean? Like just come in full. And we were like, we've got a meeting at one and we'll just have to roll right into this one. And we got one more thing afterwards and hopefully we can get a little rest, but rest can wait when you got friends and we got a we got a lot of stuff to talk about so sleep can Uh, find us when it will where are you guys right now where are you calling us from nashville Nashville. Nashville. Ah! why are you at my house i was thinking about that and then i didn't i didn't know Next time, that's a really good idea. We could have just been all in the same place. Yeah, we'll have a con- you guys have a concert this weekend, right? You have a showcase downtown this weekend. Yes. Um, yes, on at the Live Oak. Uh-huh. 
Right. Yeah. We were like pulling in. They were like, hey, will y'all be here Thursday? <laughs> we were like, yeah. That's amazing. Awesome. That's awesome. awesome. Are you going to, are you going to go Mickey? Are you going to go? Sure. I'm going to try to. Yeah. Try to. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my serious. Yes. You're so calm and we can, I'm going to call Paul right after this. It's and we got to do golf. Yes. Like we have to, oh God, if, yeah. if you're around and you what, can. What night is it? Wait, Thursday. Tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Ooh la la. Imagine uh, footage of that. Well, I, I'm purely selfishly just wanting you to go so you can get footage for the show so we can show the whole world what happened. Yes! Oh my God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Run That's by the idea James. I ever heard. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then, well, she, well uh, me being selfish, my favorite part of the show is what you drink and what you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Valerie, start with Val because Val looks like she's sipping yeah. on something tasty. Oh, th thanks for noticing. I have <laughs> a little bit of Jesus juice, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit yeah. of grigio. A little alcohol. A little, little bit, a little bit. You know, liquid, liquid courage. I was nervous to meet such beautiful ladies. <clears throat> Any excuse to have some wine. Oh, I'm telling you about <laughs> your fabulous outfit that you have on. Are you well, really nervous to meet you. anybody? I was like, yes. Ooh, oh, eat it up. oh, my God. Mickey, these are now my new best friends as well. They're yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just wearing a little vintage kimono. Uh, you know, when we started the show, we started this kind of slumber party, uh, this whole vibe of like chilling at our house, a slumber party. And it's episode, I think this is episode 61. So I've had to go through quite a few many kimonos, but I just love them. I love wearing around the house. I wanted to be girly and, and, and chant some feminine vibes with a lot of pink so that's what i'm wearing what about you ladies so oh i'm gonna go first okay Jeff's repping her chapel heart straight up oh we need to we get, gotta get yes please yeah yes. Yes. we need some addresses and um Merch. tree is has her look lisa i say you and tree i think would get along just great she's got on this like her forever kick-ass oh. leather jacket mm. and yeah like and if her leopard really too. Out. I always wear leopard too. I yeah. love that. Look, look, look. <laughs> okay, look at my oh, twin here. You found your spirit animal. Yeah. <laughs> my spirit animal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yes. God, you're and gorgeous. And Danica I, wanted to match me today. So Deb, she just wore the same Deb, color. I, ran, I, I like to tell people that I'm dad's mom just because it pisses her off. But we walked <laughs> out with the same color on today. So I was like, who's your mama now? <laughs> I'm living for your hat. Like the second you guys came on screen, yeah. I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, yeah. we didn't. We didn't. Uh, well, we finished our drinks early. We had our espresso because <laughs> it's, it's early. early. Yeah, it's, uh, it's musicians' yeah. morning, and um, and we didn't have any more things to drink. I'm just dropping oh, stuff. Oh, we got cookies. But we got cookies. Oh, oh my god, I love cookies. Yes. Uh, of course, we're going back to food. Cookies. Yeah. Oh, what does that mean? We're just gonna pour whiskey on them. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, dip them little, in your whiskey. Rub. Yeah, a little rum. <laughs> we feel like it was a little too early to oh, go yeah. straight whiskey, but yeah. nevertheless, yeah. it's never too early. It's never too yes! early. <laughs> that's the, that's the energy I need all 2021, please. <laughs> and that is yeah. why Lisa yeah. is my spirit animal. Yes. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. I, I, I'm wearing. I thought you know I knew Mickey what she was gonna wear, and I'm like, well, like I kind of want to look a little more, you know. Badass a little bit. I'm wearing a little bit army yeah. pants, type of pajama, yeah. and then this just a little vest. I thought I'd spice it up a little bit. Okay, I went across the street. I went across the street. I thought I had a whole bunch of cowboy hats in my apartment. I live in a loft, so it's really tiny. So I went to CVS. I said, "You guys had cowboys ha ha at CVS." I know, I know. Don't judge. I was like, "You guys had Don't some judge. cowboy hats here." They're like, "Oh yeah, we shipped it to the other CVS." I'm like. Oh, darn it. Come on. The, the bun, it is. So I just went with the bun. I wanted to do the cowboy hat. I was so excited. I wanted to surprise you guys. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Next time. Next oh, and then time. what am I and drinking? I'm, 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 I'm double fisting. I first started off with wine. And then I, I got a little, yes, I was like, you know what? I'm getting a, I'm little, getting a little, little sleepy. So I got the tequila with the margarita. Ooh. Yes. yes. Oh. Pre-mix yeah. action. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought I thought, you know, this is a, a big slumber party with all us girls. I know. Let yeah. me let me let me oh. pump it up. I put I that's so <laughs> funny you do that. I put I'll have pre-mix, but then I pour extra in it because the pre-mix is not enough. I yeah, guess. because yeah. It's, we're not amateurs here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so rookies over here. <laughs> because we know better. <laughs> yeah. 
I think you guys recognize my shirt. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the girl. <laughs> The goth security the, team. To the greatest oh, goth security ever. Yes, my sweet ass shirt that was made um, for you all's video. You can have them, Jolene. Yes. When I play the security guard. Yes. We'll talk about that later. Oh my God. Yes. So, so much. We fun. were literally just talking to Todd Bentley about you, and we were talking about that video. So, so amazing that you bring that energy to us today. Yes. yes. All the sass. No, you guys walked in there like that scene when you all walked in front of me. Like it was powerful. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty awesome. And we're gonna make it's sure awesome. everyone watching has access to all of these videos, all of your fantastic social media, so they can find out everything they need to know. Need to know, ladies and gentlemen, about Chapel <laughs> Heart. But I want to know. I mean, how how you guys came together? Like how you and Mickey came together? Because the badass oh. song. Oh, 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 sorry, Mickey. What are you wait, drinking? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold on. We interrupted the most important just part. What is she drinking? Just Palestine off DJ. Oh, you know? oh it's my God. The rock Okay. Tequila. Ladies, can we figure out how to uh, via Zoom <laughs> pour drinks from <laughs> other people? I know. I personally <laughs> send you a shot. I mean, if, if that's not where the future's going, I, I think we're all just doomed, quite frankly. But right, so, right. No. But sorry, Mickey, totally forgot about your your, your drink okay. there. But I, I'm just so excited to hear how you met Mickey and how you came up with this badass song. I mean, the remix Mickey mentioned is out and I know you're about to record the video as well. Is that right? Yeah, super stoked. Oh. Wow. Mickey, I think Mickey tells the best uh, yeah, story of how we met. Mine is story. so really? long. No, yeah. really? Um, yeah, I think we. Well, I can say, you know, I felt like my friend Sean, who's also he wrote on the song with Brandon, my friend Sean, he had brought them up to me and he's like, hey, these ladies are coming into town. They're coming into Nashville. I know we were talking about writing this song, Gaul, and I think that we should talk to them because I think that you're going to love them. And that's literally how it kind of went down. They came over when I was at the townhouse before we bought our house, our house here. Um, they came by there. I met them and we wrote this bad at the house, at the house, at the townhouse. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So they had like a, they also have like a big lobby meeting area. They had a couple of meeting rooms and stuff. So it was literally Sean with a guitar and the ladies and myself and we sat down and just took the song as a whole and just wrote the whole thing in like an hour, two hours. Like, yeah, it was really that. And I was like, holy crap. Like, and just, we connected, like we clicked straight away. Like it was just good energy all the way around. And I think the, the song speaks volumes about us and about them and about everything that we're trying to do like right. all, all over the place and it was just so thank you to sean for making this connection for and sure was able to go down while they were shooting because they were getting ready to release their single you can have them jolie they're getting ready to release that and so they were going in to record the music video and she just called me she's like hey could you happen to maybe make it down to mississippi i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah i seem to have some time off Yes. <laughs> yes. Some time off. Were you guys wrestling fans prior? Were you familiar with wrestling or a little bit? So I'm like, I'm an old school wrestling fan. Like I was like a WWF before the World Wildlife Fund came in with their foolishness because it will always, you know, <laughs> I eventually got on to WWE, but like, I'm like WWF to like my core, but like, it's been it's it's been a little bit, but as soon as he's he was like, you know, we're gonna be playing with, writing with Mickey James. It's like, now wait a minute, wait a minute, this must be another one. <laughs> the one. Wow, the that's so much more there. special that you knew. I think that's really cool. And I, I have to say, I'm I'm not sitting here trying to like blow smoke or anything, but when we tell you we love this song, I don't even call it a song. I call it an anthem. It is yeah! everything. Yeah. We, I was blown away. I, my, I, my standards, my, my expectations rather, were really, really high. And I listened to it and I was like, oh my God, the powerful message, the lyrics, yeah. just just the melody of it. It's so, it fires you up. It really it does. does. Right? It does. It makes you like I mean, you the of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Even Danica and I's brother just absolutely loves <laughs> the song. Like, first of all, he is the hardest to get a reaction out of. And ooh, I, we definitely got one. We were riding. And he was like, ooh, turn this shit up. <laughs> it's a and pop. He was like, what? Yes. This guy? 
I was like, no. He was like, listen. He was like, if y'all can't come up with nothing better than this, you might as well call hang your up your career. career. Right now. Like, call your, hang up your career. Well, damn. I'm like, hey, man, is this what supposed to be even... encouraging? Or yes. Her, yeah, like, our little brother. You should be proud. You should like, I have, be very proud. I have to say, since the song came out, I've seen so many men become grown ass women real fast. <laughs> <laughs> grown ass <laughs> women. <laughs> <laughs> very true very true we see that too we see the conversion too yeah and right. it's, what's yeah. exciting is like now it's the anthem for empower, empower. that mickey yeah. james is the executive producer it's special yeah. alert bulletin 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 yes yes woman will be the official theme song of empower that is, oh, that is so cool. Yeah. Oh my it's, it's gosh. It's all the same. Message. Message. So you guys should drink to the Where's my icy vodka? Yeah. Cheers, uh. <laughs> Cheers to that, sis. Cheers to empowering women through Empower Through God. It's all, we're all here I'm for the same about. reason. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. I'm so proud of y'all. And so proud of Mickey. I know I'm, 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 I get emotional about it. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm proud of the song. I'm proud of Mickey. I'm proud of the yes, message. Yes, thank you so me. much. And the one thing that I love about it, it's so crazy because sometimes during our, sh our show, I'll say, uh, Mickey, Mickey uh, started writing this song with two guys. And I see why the, the ladies had to come along. I see why the universe just waited till we met. Yep. Because, <laughs> you know, how could, you know, but I, I love this song only because I think that I love that it highlights both end of, or like, especially women, like some days we wake up and we're just over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we can love you like crazy. We can be crazy. We'll beat you up, turn around and hold you and tell you everything's going to be okay. All when in the I same breath. Yeah, and parts. you know what I mean? And it's like, I feel like that's the song. In, I mean, just 100% embodies womanhood. And, um, cause, and I think a lot of times women oh, feel like, man. thank you. <laughs> but I think a lot of times women feel like, like, I think we, we, we turn around, we're like, are we doing this thing called life right? Like, like, is this right? And I think that listening to the song, you get a chance to listen to it and go, no, like this is a hundred, like I'm kicking ass right now. And so yeah. like, that's what I love about this song. I think the song is like a, like a gut check for women. Like sometimes some days aren't good days and that's okay. Like we'll, yeah. we'll yeah. bounce back, we'll recover, but we're killing, we're, we're 90, probably 99.9% of the time. Even if we don't feel like it, we're crushing it. Yeah, we got yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and then to do this during the pandemic, like, you know, people kind of gave up. They're like, I don't know what the hell to do with my life right now. I'm like, I, I, I'm so lost right now. I'm trapped in my apartment. And you're just like, and that, it was a blessing. Not, not, not I'm, I'm, it, COVID's horrible, but it, right, it, it but opened up doorways for a lot of things to happen. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. I think about and I think the one, too. I was sorry. I was like, I think about the song too and the message and, for, I'm the worst critic when it comes to, and I'm sure you all are the same in that. I'm the worst critic. Like I can sit there and listen to a song that someone goes like, oh, that's really good of my own. Other people's song, no, my own song. And I'll be like, ooh, huh. This song, I have zero, zero quarrels cranking it up and rocking it out. Yeah. You know, because I go like, this is a badass song. And it speaks volumes, it speaks volumes um, to like where we are in the world. It speaks volumes to breaking down barriers crash and glass ceilings of women like leveling up and being taken seriously in so many different platforms and i think right. what you guys are doing right now and what you're doing in music and in country music and being cmt's next women of country and killing it yeah. <laughs> i can't wait you guys are gonna blow up i'm just glad i'm your friend now and i just want you to remember oh me my God. <laughs> Oh, stop it. Look, stop it. We're trying to get on your level, girl. Oh, <laughs> but I'm serious. And I just think that especially, and then me, what I'm trying to do now and then taking over this role with wrestling and empower. And I go like, I can't think of a better song right now that speaks to what we're doing on so many levels than that song. And so, yeah. You know, it has the timing to, yeah. is perfect. I have to ask them because if, if our fans that are watching and a lot of them are going to be in the live chat during YouTube and asking questions, um, you know, th so your your relationship with Mickey James aside, how did you guys form your group? I mean, how did it all come together? Give us a little bit of a background on on you ladies, if you will. 
Well, well, um, well we started out as a duo with Danica and I in New Orleans. And you know, when you have two part harmony, you just gonna you gotta have that little extra that cherry on the top to bring it all together. And then basically they <laughs> begged me to come to New Orleans and join the band. So I finally yeah. gave in and I was like, all right guys, fine, fine. Yeah, except for she called and uh, Dev lost her job, but also at the same time, we lost our third singer. We had another third, a third singer. She lived in Australia and decided she was gonna go home. So we just oh. lost a third singer and Dev called and she was like, Dan, I lost my job. And I was like, well, Deb, don't worry. I said, why don't you just come sing with us for a little bit? We lost a singer, we'll be. And she was like, but I don't even know how to sing. <laughs> and I was like, well. Girl, yes, you did. It was just like that. be trembling sometimes. She's like, you be trembling sometimes. So you all yeah. did sing together when you were young? Because I know you're all family, right? So mm -hmm. yeah. you were sisters and Trey, your cousins. Right, mm -hmm. right. I, I got that right. I knew I did. Um, did you all sing <laughs> together when you were younger? No. Yes. Actually, like, like two, like two of our aunts. Well, Danica and I did. Devin, Devin pretended to be shy as a child, but like two of our aunts, like, put together just a couple of our first cousins. It was like fifty yeah. kids in a little choir, and so they used to like load us, pack us in like sardines in a little car, and drive us around everywhere singing. Our and aunt had like a, she had like a Nissan Sentra. And she would literally pack like twenty five kids in that thing. Like, no exaggeration. We had to do the we had to do the scoot up, scoot back method, so that could at least put ten on the back seat, and then, and then like four or five in the front. But that was like in the country, like in in the nineties. So like that that was okay. Seatbelt for who? Okay. I had we wrecked, if I say if we wrecked, nobody was going nowhere. We were packed in there. <laughs> yeah. But um, so we run like. We started out in like a little children's choir, and they take us all around oh. Mississippi to sing. And so, like that was our first kind of first experience in music, and we just kind of kept going from there. Well, yeah. and isn't it amazing? Like, like, like when you get, you're like, oh my god, I just got fired, and you're like, what am I gonna do? What the f? The god, what am I gonna do? And then how one door closes, another, and there's an opportunity right there. You know what I mean? So, like, when people are going through all this mess, there's always something gonna happen. Yeah, I think it was happen not for a the door that I was expecting to open. <laughs> I never, if you would have told me five years ago that I would be singing, I would laugh and probably bet my life on like yeah. against you. Like Boy, it was just not happening. You got to tell wow. about Devin's public singing debut. <laughs> yeah, her first couple gigs with us were terrible. Like oh, no. it was just a mess. The first one, she was like a mouse and she was hardly even singing. And the bass player was like, uh, she's not going to be getting paid when everybody else is getting paid, right? And I was like, you just shut up and play bass. <laughs> and, um, yeah. and then the second gig, I was like, you know, I was like, well, just drink a few fireballs. I said, that'll kind of warm you up. And, That's good advice you know, for anything. Yes, fireball. Yeah. Well, I knew we'd be friends, but now I think I we could hit a, hit a great, great stride. I decided like 10 to, daiquiris. No, no, and, no, 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 no. I decided to take her advice but add a little spice to it. So I did the few shots of fireball, but I also did like three and a half daiquiris before the fireball. Oh. And so like- By halfway through the show, she was a slush and hot mess. I was like, ah, oh, you can you can go sit down now. And she was like, okay, thank you. And she's like, and she so, sounds great because she's got the fireball in her. Like, I sound amazing. Yeah, <laughs> like a karaoke, like, oh my God, I really can sing. And actually we don't really sing well, yeah. you know? <laughs> we're just, we're just hammered. It was a rough start, man. It was but, a rough start. You know, she, she got a little, we got a little pep talk going and by like show three, she kind of started, she still had that shyness, but you know, now she's all out front and tackling songs like Barracuda, like no one can freaking sing that in life. So Ooh. I'm just like, who is this? Who is this yeah. bitch? Can I ask how you so, got over that kind of stage fright? Because we do have a lot of people that are, you know, aspiring wrestlers, aspiring performers in, in different genres of the world. But how did you get over that? Because a lot of people ask us, you know, how do you get the confidence to go out there and perform in front of people? And it's what's funny is like, I, I'm the kind of person that this is so weird. But like, I hate people singing happy birthday to me, yet I'll go out and, to, and, and, and talk to a stadium full of people. But like a small crowd makes me more nervous than like a large crowd because I can't see their faces. Yes. How did you overcome that sort of shyness and stage um, This psycho bitch right here, because she absolutely 
will not let me slack even in the slightest bit. I'm like, Danica, I just started. I don't know. She's like, I don't care. Get over it. You're coming in at an unfair disadvantage. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and so I basically got tired of hearing the same shit every show. Mm-hmm. And so I had to figure it out pretty quickly. Like, come on. But I think what she was trying to say is that, like, <laughs> find somebody who doesn't, like, you know, find somebody in what you want to do who won't just be nice to you and won't just tell you, oh, no, that's great. Find somebody who'll kick your ass and make you do yeah. the be the best you that you can be and work as hard as you can work. Because, um, you know what I mean? Like, it just kind of gets you closer to, closer to your goal in the most, like, BS-free type way. And, um, and there's be- nothing like family. Family's gonna do that. They they you right. stick together, and you don't want to see your cousin, your sister, nephew fail. You're gonna right. do whatever you do to make your family member succeed. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I didn't like it at first. I was like, "Who are you talking to?" Because this is not this yeah. is not what I'm used to. So it took me a while to learn how to separate business from like personal. And yep. you know, we just making it around the corner. Yes. At first, <laughs> I was not handling that well at it all. Hard. It is yeah. hard. I always say that too. It's like it's really easy to surround yourself with people who are just gonna tell you what you want to hear and just tell you you're great. It's really hard to find people who will genuinely because they love you and are your friend that will be honest with you in a space and in the right way that you mm-hmm. can hear it, right? That yeah. you can hear it. And it's like, it's hard to take criticism, corrective criticism or any, and we all get it every single day. And everybody has, especially now via social media, everybody has an opinion about everything. Oh my gosh, yes. And not all of them are good opinions. You know what I mean? So it's nice to have like a trusted space that you can listen to and vent off of or whatever, but that's also going to be brutally honest with you, but in the right way, right? So- thank you for saying that too because that's really why we created this platform was to be able to come on and talk just as sisters and like this journey like just life is hard this journey is hard and it's cool to have yes. this in a, a way because i think we do so much and you're i'm sure you know this and doing whatever you do so much pr and you do so much of these interviews but a lot of times you sit there and you go like it feels like i'm saying the same thing over and over but I don't feel like I'm truly getting heard and I don't feel like it's also an authentic space of like who I truly am because they're just I gotta I have five minutes to plug this one thing and that's all I you know what I mean so people aren't really truly getting a chance that's why we did this is so we can have our sisters on and have a party and talk about how awesome we are and put each other over and um you know Vicky again thank you for the introduction I want to say a final cheers to you ladies you are so cool Cheers to your success. We're going to put all of your uh, information on our YouTube description so everyone can uh, see your brilliance and, and all of your links will be there. Cheers, ladies. You are true grown-ass women. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you we love y'all Thanks so much. much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And make sure you go oh. follow them right now. Yes. <laughs> Chapel Heart everywhere that you can find people and music chapel heart and if you just want to feel like a badass just play grown-ass woman as you walk into a room and everyone will know that's Mm. right that is our new anthem and for everyone watching on youtube at the top of the hour at 6 p.m eastern we will be on patreon.com slash god tv at our live uh zoom after party so the fun does not stop here we'll see you guys there ladies thank you for being here so much yeah thank you so much this is the word go yo go